My name's Craig Earlham, Senior Market Analyst at Oanda, and today we're going to talk about the New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar. Now, uh, th this is one which has become up to prominence really over the last few months. We've generally been in a downward trend. We've generally been uh, seeing periods of weakness for a number of months. Uh, but recently we saw a breakout and one of the probably more frustrating aspects of this breakout was the fact that we never really reached the heights it looked at one stage that we were going to be hitting. Uh, we saw that stall and I think the fact that we saw renewed dollar strength didn't really help that. Uh, we saw a lot of risk aversion in the markets and uh, when we're looking at certain currencies and the New Zealand dollar is very much one of them, the Australian dollar is another, they tend to be very much associated with risk the, uh, 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 and strong risk appetite tends to benefit them and vice versa. So when we saw this period of risk aversion, we saw some period of dollar strength, this really did limit the upside in the rally and caused it to stall. Now what we've seen over the last 24 hours is we've seen a resurgence to the upside. Now this has been driven by two clear factors. The first factor is the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. The central bank was not as dovish as people were expecting. There was, it, was, it was widely rumoured that the central bank was actually going to suggest that a rate cut uh, may be uh, in the not too distant future rather than any form of rate hikes uh, and that inflation and other economic data pieces would fall in behind target and with the global economic slowdown that we are starting to see materialise that this was going to limit its ability to raise interest rates and again create a far more dovish message. Well that didn't really materialise, instead it was far more neutral there was no suggestion that we were going to see a rate cut on the horizon and this really propelled the Kiwi dollar higher. The other part of this was the US dollar movements. Now overnight again Donald Trump, the US president suggested that trade talks with China uh, could continue beyond the current 90-day deadline on March the 1st. He hasn't suggested this previously. The previous rhetoric has very much been that if we hit that 90-day deadline and no deal is agreed, then there will be further tariffs imposed. Currently, there's tariffs of 10% on $200 billion worth of Chinese imports. That represents around 40% of all imports. That was going to increase, as I say, to 25% uh, on March the 1st if no deal was agreed. But instead, he suggested that this could be kicked back if they are making significant progress, if there is chance of a good deal. Uh, and the markets really did uh, seize upon this. We saw strong risk appetite on the back of this. And more importantly, we saw a weaker dollar. And the reason why we saw a weaker dollar was because in periods when the trade talks are going well and it looks as though we're moving towards a deal and away from tariffs, which are a global threat, then we do tend to see dollar weakness. We tend to see dollar strength when they're actually escalating. The reason being that the US runs a large trade deficit with a number of countries, including China, and a trade war, while being bad for both sides, is seen as being worse for the, the countries running trade, def, uh, trade surpluses rather than the deficit countries. So we've seen this period overnight where we had a good move for the New Zealand dollar and a bad move for the US dollar, and that's why we saw this really propel higher. But what it means from a technical perspective is we've got this 67 level which continues to hold. We've now seen it tested on a couple of occasions, but we are starting to see this series of higher lows appear. We've got this resistance to the upside around kind of 69.70, which is held for now. But if we can propel our way through there and we can see a sustained period of dollar weakness following what has been a solid run uh, in the greenback, then this could give us that lift higher that we were maybe expecting a couple of months ago and help the Kiwi dollar seize those highs that we were anticipating before.